Okay, in this video, I will talk about why do we care about to rationalize the denominator when we're in our algebra class. However, before I talk about any irrational situations, let me show you guys a rational case first. Let's talk about fraction 1 over 4. And suppose I don't have the decimal version of this number, memorized it, and I don't have a calculator, but I still want to figure out the decimal version of 1 over 4. Well, how can we do it? Well, 1 over 4 is the same as saying 1 divided by 4, and to figure this out, I can use long division, isn't it? So let's go ahead and draw the long division right here. And what number goes inside? If you look at the fraction, you know the number on the top goes inside. If you look at the division question, you know the first number goes inside, right? So in either way, we'll have to put on 1. And the 4 will be on the outside. And you just go ahead and divide. And you see, the key is that we do not have a calculator, right? Okay, 4 goes into 1 how many times? 0 times, so let's put on 0. And now, you still want to continue. So you decided to put a decimal point right here, and you put on 1 as 1 point, and you can put on a 0, because 1 is the same as 1.0, right? And now you can look at this one as like 10, like 1.0, and you ask yourself, 4 goes into 10 how many times? Well, twice, because 2 times 4 is 8, and then just go ahead and do that. 10 minus 8, which is 2, and you want to continue, right? So you put on 0 right here, drop this down, and 4 goes into 20 how many times? Well, 5 times, 5 times 4 is 20, and you subtract, and you are done because there's no more left, right? So you know this is going to be 0 0.25, and ha, that's it. And now, let's look at the irrational situation. Suppose I want to look at 1 over square root of 2, and this is the example that everybody will show you, isn't it? Okay, now, this is the same as saying 1 divided by square root of 2. I agree with you guys on this. And I don't know what this symbol is. So first of all, you need to have this kind of things memorized, right? And square root of 2 is a famous number. You should know that it's approximately 1.414. Therefore, I can write this as it's approximately 1 over 1.414, which is the same as saying, let's go ahead and divide 1 by 1.414, something like this. And now let's try to use the long division again. Here, one number goes inside. 1, right? The number on the top, or the first number here, still 1. And I will put down 1.414 on the outside, like this. And the truth is, this right here keeps on going forever, right? This right here keeps on going forever. And square root of 2, 1.414. In fact, there's no pattern, all right? There's no pattern because square root of 2 is irrational. I don't know what the next number is unless I have no then memorize it or use the calculator. But the key is, once again, we do not use the calculator in this case. All right, now, how can we divide? OK, we're going to ask ourselves, 1.414 something, 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 blah, 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 goes into 1 how many times? Zero times, OK? Put down 0. That's good. It's a big progress. Put down decimal point, just like over there. And then 1 is the same as saying 1.0. And now I can look at this as 10. And now. This goes into 1 through how many times? Uh, it's kind of hard already. But I will tell you, it's probably about 7. I will show you. 7 times 1 is 7. And you also have to do 7 times 4, which is 28. And you know the 2 got carried over. So you actually have to put down 9. And then here you have that 8, right? And then 7 times 1 is 7. So this is 8 and then 7. But then you do 7 times 4 is once again 28, and then 2 get carried over. So in fact, it's kind of like you don't even really know what it is because you don't know what the next number is. But it's 0 0.7 something, and you cannot really continue, right? If you put a lot of zero, if you try to subtract whatsoever, uh, it's really difficult. Now, let's take a look of the following. Suppose you have 1 over square root of 2 again. And the reason that this was hard is because the number on the outside, the denominator, right? It was an irrational number. It was crazy, all right? Once again, let's take a look. 1 over square root of 2. And this is what your algebra teacher will tell you. Why don't we multiply the top and bottom by square root of 2? So we can produce a perfect square in the denominator. Square root of 2 times square root of 2, in fact, becomes a nice number. It's just a regular 2, right? So now let's take a look right here. Let's go ahead, multiply the bottom by square root of 2, and the top by square root of 2. And you see, by doing this step first, we will end up with what? 1 times square root of 2 is square root of 2, that's nice, over square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is just a regular 2, right? And now, 
You know square root of 2 if you have this memorized it because square root of 2 is a famous number. You should have it memorized. Just like ln2, it's also just as famous. It's 0 0.693. E is also famous. 2.718 something, right? Well, 2.7128 and all that. But anyway, once you know square root of 2 is approximately 1.414, and now we can look at this, divided by 2, right? So now you know this is approximately 1.414, da 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 da, but we will divide this by 2, and we can do a long division right here now. What number goes inside now? This number, 1.414, da 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 da, and the nice number 2 will go on the outside, right? And now you can just go ahead and do it. 2 goes into 1 how many times? 0. In fact, you can do this in your head. Right? You can just look at this divided by 2 in your head. Many of you guys can do that. I believe that. But anyway, I'll show you guys the work. 2 goes into 1 0 times, and you put a decimal point, and you know 2 goes into 1 4. Look at this as 14, which is 7 times 7 times 2 is 14 like this. Okay, you match so far, right? And you subtract. Well, this is 0. You bring this down. 2 goes into 0, I mean 2 goes into 1 0 times, and then you once again bring down the 4. 2 goes into 14 7 times, and then you know this is 14, and so on. We are not done yet, okay? I don't know what's the next number, but you see, this right here, I can tell you a much better answer with an ease, because you know this right here is 0 0.707, approximately speaking. So much easier, isn't it? 